This is a plastic injection mold, Ivanhoe's signature product in its high-precision manufacturing facility. Today I'll be going through the production outlook for the Cozy Clip and how it will be implemented here at Ivanhoe Tool and Die. Ivanhoe Tool & Die has been in business for nearly 70 years, leading the nation in high-quality plastic injection molds. We've come a long way in the production world over the years, developing proprietary design innovations, unique processes, and many trade secrets along the way. Located in small town Thompson, Connecticut, our facility neighbors Rhode Island, where the Cozy Clip was founded. Ivanhoe is a fully innovative production facility capable of custom tool fabrication and automatic assembly systems. We specialize in customized manufacturing, meeting the most detailed customer needs. With our ISO 9001 manufacturing certification, we assure full compliance with all quality control procedures, developing the best product possible. Ivanhoe uses the best precision measuring equipment to guarantee accuracy all fabricated components to the fourth decimal place. All outside materials brought in come with documented certification for full traceability. This includes steel, plastic, and specialized hardware purchased from vendors. We also store all samples of our products so that we can always refer to the condition the product was in when it left our facility. The Cozy Clip is going to require a hot runner, high cavitation plastic injection mold, most likely running polypropylene. This tool will mold the main component of the Cozy Clip. The other two components, the nail and the insulation, will be purchased materials that will have to be assembled with the clip. A completely custom made assembly machine will need to be built so that Cozy Clip can be assembled at high volume and accuracy. That assembly machine will go here. When a new mold is acquired, it must be qualified before being brought into production. First, the tool maker must qualify and sign off approval of the tool. Then, the customer or user of the tool must complete an FAT test or a factory acceptance test in order to continue with production. Once the mold has been qualified to necessary standards, it may enter into the production world. After qualification, a molding process is saved via electronic program and is documented on a set of sheets. This process will be followed indefinitely unless otherwise documented as a permanent change in order to correct product imperfections. The electronic program is used to operate the mold press and should be loaded as such. process sheet is followed to ensure that all mold parameters are followed correctly, including barrel heat and water temperatures, injection pressure, clamp force, and cycle time, to name a few. The process is specific and must be followed accordingly. All plastic material must be checked when received. It should also be checked again before running in the mold, and the lot number must be recorded and kept on file. Plastic should be sealed until use and checked for contaminants when loaded into the hopper. Check barrel temps one last time and then turn on main water valves, making sure all water connections are secure and free of leaks. Every hour during molding, one shot of molded parts will be pulled aside and inspected for accuracy on critical product dimensions. Shots will be labeled for date and time and saved for at least three months. The appearance must have no flash or disrupted plastic as shown in this picture. Or show any signs of discoloration or voids 
just like in this picture. Any failed parts will be quarantined or destroyed. Parts will fall on a conveyor belt, bringing them to the automatic assembly machine. Each piece will fall into a hopper that catches them and loads them onto a guided track with the proper orientation. The insulation foam material will be purchased with the sticky adhesion already applied. The clips are pushed into the sticky insulation one by one and then the foam is swiftly cut off in one fluid motion. Continuing on the conveyor, they enter through a fitted slot that will discard any defective pieces. The clips will move down a guided track, bringing them to the nail assembly. Nails are hammered automatically as each clip passes through. Broken pieces will fall into a discard pile and personnel will be on duty to ensure that there aren't any issues. A high-speed vision inspection system will be used for automated quality control. This way every part can be verified before each shipment. Cameras will check for size and defects as each clip passes. Any failures that may arise will be discarded. The system will be inspected and calibrated every day to confirm accuracy of this process. All accepted pieces will fall into an automatic bagging machine, packaging a determined amount of clips. Bagger seals and prints important tracking information, such as lot numbers, for total traceability. The automatic bagging system can also detect defects, making sure to discard any problematic packages that don't fit the criteria. Open boxes move down their own conveyor system, receiving a set amount of bags as each box reaches the automatic bagger. boxes are filled, an employee will seal the box, weigh it for quantity confirmation, and load it onto a pallet for shipment. 